and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We want to thank you for taking time to be part of today's devotion. Um, this week, we are going to take some time to look at and study the lives of some of the people in the Bible whom God called, whom God commissioned, and uh, we're going to learn some lessons. These people were by no means perfect, but God called them and God used them uh, for His plans and purposes. So uh, today we are going to look at the life of uh, Joseph, some aspects of his life and what we can learn as believers and what we can uh, walk in as believers. Um, I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 39 and verses 2 and 3. Uh, verse 2, the Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian and his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. Now we know that Joseph was uh, sold as a slave by his own family members and he was in a faraway land but we see that the Lord was with Joseph and because the Lord was with Joseph uh, he was a successful man. And even in the place where he was sold as a slave, we see that he was successful in all that he did. And uh, the fact that he was successful was noticeable, was tangible. Uh, so, uh, and uh, the Egyptian master says that he saw that uh, all that he did uh, was, uh, was prospering and the Lord made uh, his work prosper. So he noticed that. He noticed that something was different and it was not his own ability. So the first thing that we learn is that when the Lord is with us, um, when the Lord, when we walk in His ways, it is to our advantage and not to our disadvantage. Now, sometimes we think, you know, uh, I know all this is spiritual, but I can't take it into my workplace. I need to have a different set of rules there. Or, or maybe in our, our place of uh, study and saying, you know, all this church thing is good, but if I want to take it uh, into the college, then people will make fun of me and I, I can't really be successful. I can't really live by these values. And we might have that kind of mentality, but something different happened in Joseph's life. The Lord was with him and it placed him in a, in a position uh, to receive success. So we, we can do the same thing. Uh, the Lord's ways, the Lord's words, the Lord's values, they are not in any way barriers to our success. Okay. We go to Genesis chapter 39 and verse 10 and it says there, So it was, as she spoke to Joseph day by day, that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. Now this is talking about Potiphar's wife. Now Potiphar's wife uh, was inviting him to lie with him and, uh, and to compromise the stand that Joseph had. Uh, now this is not a one-time thing. You know, this inducement to sin, this temptation to sin physically in a sexual relationship, uh, it was not a one-time thing. We see here that she spoke to Joseph day by day, but he did not heed her. He did not listen. Uh, it was day by day, he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. Such was his stand. Now, we must understand that Joseph was a young man. He was far away from home. He was not, account you know, you could say that he did not have anyone to be accountable to. But Joseph was account accountable to the God, to the Lord whom he believed in. And all his standards flowed out of that. And he said, he says um, that, how can I do this thing? How can I sin against my God? So he did not, even though it was a recurrent thing, the temptation was recurrent, the invitation was frequent, he did not give in to lie with her or to be with her. It must have been a very difficult place, but Joseph held on to that. So firstly, we saw that the Lord was with Joseph. Secondly, we see that Joseph was with the Lord or Joseph really, walked with the Lord. Joseph was with the Lord every day. So he did not compromise his stand. So we, that is something that we can learn, not to compromise, to take a stand for what we believe in. And it might take us to a place of difficulty. As we see in uh, Joseph's life, he was wrongly accused, he was put in prison. But we read again that even in the prison, the Lord made him successful. 
that the keeper of the prisons gave him the entire responsibility and he just took over and whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. So we can learn that even in unfavorable circumstances, because of our stand to not compromise, that the Lord will turn things around. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the life of Joseph. We thank you for all the lessons that we can learn, Lord, that you are with us and we can be with you, O God, daily. And uh, even as we take a stand to live by your ways, Lord, that you will turn things around, God. Even difficult things, you will turn it around for our good. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.